Welcome to another Short and Sweet, where the samples are short. And it's really sweet that they sent it. This episode brought to you by KCWLW, aka the Mass Patron. Yes, one of our Patreon members. Yeah, if you a saw... A Bourbon Night. A Bourbon Night. If you saw our uh, Double Blind flight fight recently, uh, he was the, he was the one in, in, charge, in charge of that, right. And uh, this is something that we've sort of had a, a tumultuous relationship mm. with that has been changing very quickly. This yes. is King of Kentucky. This is the 2021 release as of the filming, the newest release. We have, and for the first time on a short and sweet, we're gonna compare it to our- 2018. 2018 King of Kentucky, mm -hmm. but that'll Which come- Which we were, yeah. Uh, that'll we'll come talk about that. Here in a second. It is beautiful. Top you off there, sir. All right, it's gonna be all gone This now. is lovely. <laughs> it has this like mahogany, like, I don't know, cherry color. It's very pretty. I mean, I can smell it from here. Just pouring it, I can smell this beautiful It nose. has a presence. It does have a presence, doesn't it? When it walks into the room, you notice. Yeah, everyone looks up. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, you're glowing. <laughs> uh, so this is barrel number six, mm -hmm. which came from Rick number seven of Warehouse I of Floor Three. It's bottle 44 of 111. Those are some coordinates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 131.5 proof. 131.5. It ain't messing proof. around. Uh, it's 14 years. And this oh, is... and you get every bit of that 14 years on the yeah. nose, like that oak, just that, mm. Now, um, leathery. there was 33 barrels released for the 2021 release, mm -hmm. the highest uh, amount so far for our uh, 2018, only 16 barrels. And we'll talk about wow. that here in a second. But for now, to your health. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. What, what, where to begin? Um, mouthfeel, for one thing. Exceptional mouthfeel. Mouth wow, yeah. It has a lot going on. This is more of like a feeling. Sometimes you drink things and you're like, what are the notes? But it's more more of a feeling. Toasted brown sugar, a little bit of a burnt marshmallow note in there, but some real serious oh. charred oak mm -hmm. playing in nicely with those sweet notes. And at the end, it almost goes like, not smoky, but a, just a touch, like just a, I caught a whiff of campfire smoke. A little and it was It was warm and cozy. Yeah. Um, that 14 years is really giving you tobacco and leather, but mm. not like a 18 year, you know, whiskey. I feel like it's- It hasn't it's, gone over that, yeah. the bell curve, right? right it's right. right there on it's, the top. Yeah, heading towards the sweet Maybe spot. Maybe a little bit, yeah. Really long finish, uh, still going. Second sip Sarah here already going in, that's fine. Uh, really setting in with a nice Kentucky hug, and you said 131.5 proof. But the mouthfeel, folks, is just like picturing Molasses, slowly moving molasses. It's just like it sticks it's to your ribs. Slowly moving with slowly you. Slowly moving there's, molasses. There's no fast molasses in Chad's world. Not in my world. <laughs> is it cherry? Gosh, is it? Uh, is a little kiss of cherry. A little there. kiss, but dark cherry. Yeah. But it also has your classic caramel vanilla, just turned yeah. up. There's a lot going on. Maple. There's maple in there. I think we can credit both oh. the proof and the age to this level of complexity. I think we could sit here, you know, it is supposed to be short and sweet. Both the sample is short and so is the review. Yeah. Um, so we could sit here for probably 30, 45 minutes and continue to peel this onion. Yeah. That is this whiskey because we're getting all of that age, all the characteristics, and we're not getting it cut down, right? It's right. non gel filtered. We are getting the full experience, which I love. This is our bottle. Uh, this was back when retail was two hundred dollars. It's now two fifty. Woo! Uh, but I paid Good luck finding it closer retail. to three hundred. I think it was like three hundred, which made me just the more mad when I didn't enjoy this. When we were this. not a fan. Now, to this bottle's credit, Chad, I think it has improved with time open than when Agreed. we very first sipped it. But when we very first sipped it, I remember it being pretty earthy and just hot. And I remember thinking. That's extremely disappointing for the price that you pay for it, right? And the reputation that it has. That single barrels for you. It has improved dramatically. And I also- I can smell it on the nose though that- Our tastes have changed since 2018 as well. It smells like wet campfire wood. But uh, this is floor one, warehouse K, Rick 40. <laughs> Barrel number six, if you wanna know. 14 years as well and it is 64.3%. Uh, so the difference here, the main differences I'm getting are, I'm not getting those like buttery, desserty, you know, sweet, nor am I also getting that lovely oaky char and yeah. that leather right. that was coming from our short and sweet sample. It's more it's of a, a wet wood, a dryness, mm -hmm. um, alcohol vapors, uh -huh. and 
yeah, I'm just really missing the viscosity and the complexity. It has opened up to its uh, favor over the years, but man, that fresh earthy. crack was just not, not good. It's, yeah, it's definitely falling into like the earthy and a bit astringent category. They're famously known for losing so much over the years to evaporation. Like none of these barrels have more than 30% remaining in them. And I feel like- I.e. why it costs so much. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think one, <laughs> this one slipped past quality control, but uh, we've had friends over, we've said, hey, will you try this? Just make sure we're not crazy. And everyone has agreed, no, this one is not. This is an outlier. This one is an outlier. Now we have had uh, people try to change our mind about King of Kentucky and every single one has worked. Yes. We've had samples and pours at bars and every other King of Kentucky has been exceptional. This one included yes. right here. Here's the test, Chad. Yeah. Now knowing what the rest of the King of Kentucky landscape is like, uh, you come across a bottle in a store later this year, mm, it's retail. Right. Based on your experience with this one, uh -huh. but also considering your other experiences, are you buying it or no? Are you gonna risk it again? I would risk it because, because I haven't heard a horror story since 2018. And so everything else we've tasted has been I would. exceptional. I would. All right, I feel like that's a good summary. Mm. Hey, we want to tell you real quick about a home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you get the t-shirt and hat that I'm wearing, the t-shirt that Sarah's wearing, the Glen Cairns we're drinking from, lots more uh, glassware and hoodies and wearables and all that, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash suburbanite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. That is where we exclusively release our barrel picks and yeah. some extra content like another round with Chad and Sarah. There you go. And if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so. Come on over by clicking right here. There's suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, thank you, KC. Until next time, drink more bourbon.